most illustrious people of YouTube. Hello and welcome to another episode of Xenonauts. And um, since we did it last time, let's do it again. Whoa, Xenonauts. The excitement created. Excitement equals created. So we took out the base that the aliens had established in uh, Middle East. So that's gone. Middle East is not happier. I, I really don't get the whole mechanic where taking out the base doesn't make people happier. Um, but I guess I just don't know enough about bases to 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 understand that kind of thing. Okay, so as soon as these guys are done with what they're researching, we are reducing the number of scientists, as I've been saying for like three years now. We are making a Sentinel battle suits, which is sort of the light version of the Iron Man. And after which, maybe uh, make two, three, whatever, and then make uh, those uh, Marauders. I think we need them. Uh, probably sent you over to the other base, actually. Do you have another hangar in here? You don't. Maybe I should give him another hangar as well. Just so they have, like, you know, enough aircraft. Hmm. Hangars are cheap, aren't they? 25. Yeah, I could just, just pop one in there. It doesn't really matter. Why not? There you go. There's a hangar. Could even build a uh, radar at this point. Uh, for this guy, so they have sort of early, <clears throat> uh, or early, uh, what's this, what's the word? Early alarm? No. Whatever, you know, you know what I'm talking about, the early thing system, that, that's the one. I'll probably give him a radar, why not? Um, I think we can, I think we can do it. It's, it's doable. Let's give him a raid, where is it? Oh, no, I'm looking at the radar, there you go, uh, we'll put it right there. So, two radars. Okay, so it's money down the drain, uh, but maybe we'll do a mission or something today. Uh, new people coming in as well, uh, which means that I think we can now start naming the new guys up. So, actually have people, sorry, actually have people re, whatever, the re, the redone, the resurrection, there you go, the people resurrected and cloned back into the life, I think. I think that it's, I think it's time. Oh, what did I just do? I clicked the thing. Uh, I think I just took out the thing. There you go. That. Um, cause the last one we put on there, I'm just consult my list here, which is becoming increasingly messy. Uh, oh no, we actually have three more people that we haven't made at all. And after that, it's the new guy, it's the resurrection. Um, cycle happening because while I was not making episodes for like a week um, some more people wanted to be at it so three more but I think we're buying more than three we can even I can just make sure we're getting more people in so that we can start resurrection uh, let's see uh, hire soldier oh by the way I need to figure out how to fire the oh yeah there you go hire fire scientists so I could wait how do I fire them oh because they're busy I can't fire them that's right all right never mind uh, come over here, hire soldiers. That, that HP is quite sexy, and accuracy is okay, T's are okay. I don't know, we could get, like, someone with just a lot of health. Uh, strength, don't, it doesn't really, strength doesn't really matter at this point, I think. Uh, because all the armors are power armors. 55, 40, uh, yeah, let's get another one, say, this one. And, well, that's a lot to use. Health is decent, accuracy is all right. Mm. Someone fast could also be fun. Actually, you are maybe better, but your health is a lot lower. Accuracy is a bit higher. Demetra and Carmen. Let's get let's get Carmen. And since there's nothing better turned up, let's get Demetra as well. Just you know why not? All right, cool. So now we definitely can resurrect people when they arrive. And other than that, we have really nothing else to do, I think, so. Because uh, we are building a radar here, and this, this base is full. Um, we can transfer this over to that hangar and get a new um, Marauder. Then we can dismantle one of these, I think. How do you dismantle stuff? Oh, no, I think you just click it or something. And it says it can't demolish this building, I guess because it's being used, whatever. Anyway. Um, isn't it 15, 15, 15? So we can hire, fire 15 scientists and dismantle one of the labs. Meanwhile, spin the clock. 
aliens, I'm sure, will be eager to appear. I am sure they will appear. Surely they want to, you know, be part of this party. There we go. It's a big one. All right, intercept that with Thomas Crow, Joseph Fusco, and Paradox Iron. Go, go. Ooh, another one. Well, I mean, what do you want to do? I can only intercept so many. Burp. Ah, and there's more. So this is a landing ship with... Oh, base attack? Ooh, that could have been interesting, but I'm going to shoot them down anyway. Uh, intercept. I say we just send them more orders at this point. Because uh, since they have a little uh, fighters there, I think this would be safer. Okay, we've engaged them or resolve. Uh, no one got injured. Just need to refuel and get the ammo back. Turn to base. And we got that, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's all good. Uh, so this, hopefully this will actually influence North America, which isn't doing that bad. Oh man, these guys are doing bad. I should have just followed this guy, but whatever. We'll, we'll, hopefully we'll be fine with that. Okay, this is a cruiser as well. Research and drawn. They will most likely land, I feel. Um... Okay, we can't really deal with that right now. That's why we need more ships. On the other hand, if we... Should I go back? If we send Lefko plus the biggest ones, maybe we'll be able to... The one with the most ammo, maybe we'll be able to catch him? Maybe? Let's give it a go. If we even can... Go last known location, I guess. Uh, yeah, just all resolve that. Cool, return to base. Yeah, I think those guys got away. Oh, they're coming to us now? The cruiser is coming, was coming this way. Oh, alien base established? Seriously? Oh, come on, we just dealt with that. Okay. I wonder if those those guys were flying. Oh, no, they were over here. I, I don't think they got the base. Anyway. Uh, North America even happier. Cool stuff. These guys are even unhappier. Bad stuff. Okay, what's the interception level like anyway? So, rearming, rearming. Okay, we're almost there. Uh, research, you know, really should be done by now. But, okay, whatever. And I think we made one Sentinel armor. Maybe. Or shall we give it two? We don't even. Oh man, we don't even have any assaults anymore. Um, let's see if it's there even. No, it's not there yet. Okay, so it's gonna be there soon. <clears throat> I'm probably gonna wait a little bit because this is maxed. Well, close to maxed out anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But we, you know, we'll, we'll deal with that. We'll get to the base. Base is not going anywhere. Oh, this oh this guy just went that way. Oh, that's bad. Soviet Union is doing okay, but not not as good. No, not so good so that so that I you know I wouldn't care about what's going on there. Six and nine. Okay. I think they after that they left. Ooh, hello. Finally, some reading. Herod analysis. The Herodon is by some distance the most relaxed of all the captives. Indeed. I occasionally wonder if it is even aware of its containment or confinement, sorry. The creature is sealed within an armor suit that cannot be removed without killing it. Our holding tank may be... Our holding tank, sorry, may be the lesser of two prisons. Performing analysis on the Herodon has been a frustrating experience. It seems largely oblivious to our existence, so attracting its attention and engaging it in uh, evolu evolutory tests is difficult. Our... Conclu conclusions so far support the theory that these creatures are savants, demonstrating remarkable uh, manual dexterity and an exceptional ability to process visual spatial information, but little interest in any task that employs higher brain function. Perhaps they see warfare as a simple mechanical task, nothing more than lining up the weapons and pulling the trigger. They may not even be aware that we are living creatures, assuming they are able to grasp the philosophical concept of life at all. 
It seems that these creatures are pitiful living tools, capable of limited emotion and little advanced thought. Ultimately, this does not make them any less effective battlefield uh, implements. They are still superb marksmen and have excellent sight ranges. In an attempt to even the odds, we have summarized the most vulnerable areas of the Harden armored suit in a document and issued it to your man. This should boost their damage against the species by approximately 10%. <laughs> I, th I still think they should have changed that. This whole 10% thing is a bit weird, but cool. Okay. So that's done. Uh, let's put everyone on this. This should be done in a second as well. Oh, wait. We have the crash site. I completely forgot about the crash site. That's going to disappear, isn't it, though? Yeah, I don't really want to do the night mission. Oh, fuck it. Let's get, just get rid of it. We'll do it. We'll do the next one. Androns. Whatever. Airstrike. Um, let's get the new people in anyway. A large cruiser research. And these are these are the guys who are up there. They just came back. Okay, we'll just kill them. All right, go go go. What? Go go go! Catch him! You kidding me? Jesus! Ran away. Okay. Turn to base, and we have Asia under attack. They still have a lot of money to lose, which is good, but you know, it's bad in the long run. Okay, let's look at the daylight. I think we should have one of those armors now. Really don't want to do the base attack mission at this point, but... He's, you know, just we just did one just now. But Hamus is near full health, and his health is 87. Or now it is 87, or maybe it's... Oh yeah, so it's 87, it's 83% of 87, so that's good. Right, let's see if the armor is in. Armor is in. Um, mm, you don't really need that armor. You already have that. I guess we could give it to the sniper. Though again, it doesn't make that much sense. Since we don't have another sniper rifle, I guess we could give it to Dantec then, for now. Or whoever we choose to be uh, an assault. Let's quickly just, just check it out. Sexy. So these guys can fly? I forget. I think they can fly. Uh, let's, let's give you a wolf for now. Wait, how so he's actually lighter. He can carry more stuff. Cool. Okay. So when the when the troops arrive, we'll we'll deal with it. We'll name them up. Ooh, hello. Um, I guess. Oh, yeah. So you're coming this way. Cool. Uh, intercept. We what we got? Launch. Oh no no no! Don't go away. Get him. Go lost no location. God damn it. Oh, and the, here's the chrysalid. All right. Reaper analysis. I consider it prudent to preserve our captive alien specimens in case further analysis is required. The Reaper was an exception. I had it incinerated the moment we concluded our studies on it. The thought of a creature such as this breaking loose in our cramped underground facility is the stuff of nightmares. It does look pretty, uh, pretty gruesome. Slightly threatening. You know, facial expression. In any case, it hardly made a good captive. It was extremely aggressive and clearly had no more than animal level intellect. Simply walking past the holding tank would see the creature flinging itself at the glass walls in a violent frenzy, a fury of scything blades and uh, slashing talons. This was particularly irritating given that the fiends in engineering installed our new coffee machine only a few feet from the beast ensuring the glorious silence of our labs was regularly punctuated by screams and noise of shattering crockery nevertheless our work was useful it confirmed our initial suspicions that reapers are highly mobile and have excellent sensory awareness we also discovered a number of weak points in the otherwise durable chitin shell of the creature these have been summarized and issued to your troops boosting damage inflicted by, uh, by roughly 10% we were able to observe the horrific reaper reproductive process firsthand by introducing cattle into the holding tank. It appears the victim is doomed the moment that it, moment that it is speared in and injected with larvae, turning them into a bloated mess of flesh, aptly referred to as a zombie by your man. The larval growth process begins the growth. Okay, begins the growth process. All right. Uh, but is not actually required to complete it. If the zombie is terminated before gestation is complete, an immature reaper bursts free 
of the host, host's corpse and springs into action. These immature reapers mature in a matter of minutes and seem just as combat effective as the adult reapers. So bear in mind that gunning down a zombie may not be beneficial in every situation. While I am not sure what the aliens have done to enhance the original reapers, there is no doubt they have evolved into a very definition of a terror weapon. Cool. Okay. Well, kind of knew all of that. Um, nothing to research, so let's get rid of the scientists. Uh, okay, so we can fire, I think, 15, right? And it's going to be saving extra 300,000, which isn't that much, really. Come to think of what's way, what's... Um, let's not do that for now. Let's take a look at what is the maintenance cost for this thing, uh, which is Quantum Laboratory. It's actually not that expensive. Nah, I'm even thinking like, just leave it, I guess, I don't know. I mean, we do want another hangar or another of these dudes. Hmm, I don't know. So we get rid of this, we put it on a hangar. We won't have a full squadron anyway, we'll just have three and two. So ideally we want to get rid of even one more. Oh, and this is now cheaper to build as well. So like the radar is actually more expensive than a nanotech workshop or whatever, sorry, the quantum laboratory. Um, I could just transfer the research over there and have a... I could do that, I guess, yeah. That's, I think that's, that's, that's good enough. So what are our funds looking like? So we have month income, monthly upkeep. We're gonna have a, like a, a mill coming in next month. So I think we should be all right. So can I get rid of this now? Yes. I want to demolish this building now. Okay, and I want to build another hangar there. And I want to fire scientists. Unless they can work from the other base. Can they do that? Okay. Fire the scientists. And yeah, we'll figure it out. Doesn't matter. I mean, now we... I think we reduced our upkeep for a bit, so that's that's always fun. Uh, you guys are building, yep, and I can send you the ship, and then we'll be done. Uh, you actually don't have engineers, so you can't really start any projects. Uh, we can do do. Oh, no, I'm sorry, looking at the wrong one. There we go. Yep, and possibly build another ship at that point, or maybe have like. Ideally, we should probably make like seven of those things first and then build more ships or whatever. I mean, it's fine. It's going to be fine either way. Come on, where did you go? Where did you, where did you, where did you go? I d oh, you bastard. You bastard. Okay. How much fuel we have? Probably not very much. It's not going to be enough. Dicks. Aha. Uh -huh. There you go. All right. That was still benefiting this one, which is maxed out, which is a shame. So they, they reduced our funding on America. All right. Well, whatever. That's fine. Where are the new guys that are supposed to be arriving? There we go, four soldiers. I think there's four soldiers and three more soldiers, something like that. So you go to base. Uh, oh, radar is four days away, which is cool. And then we are going to... Uh, what are we going to? Yes, rename the soldiers, so the ones who arrive. We have Bogdan, so that's going to be found. Find list, find list. JD, JD Coley? Okay, again, if uh, if I'm messing up the names, let me know. I think that was, that was the name. Again, let me know. All right, so Sarah is going to become uh, T. 
Dima the bear. All right, Dima. Oh, it's gonna be Dima bear. Okay. Ow. Okay. Not a stereotypical name for Russian at all, by the way. Right. So next one is gonna be Connor. Was was Mac? Okay. Connor was Mac. Connor. Wait, is it double? Double N? Okay. Connor, again, let me know if it's wrong. Whoa. I think. Right, and we have one more leftover. So this is resurrection time right there. And we are going to resurrect someone who's been uh, really wanting to be resurrected for a long time and has commented on almost every episode ever made. It's going to be radical. Danny is back. He's 21 years old from New Zealand. His first Ranger Squadron and combat experience in Vietnam. Okay. We're good. Now that we have these guys, actually, let's finish... Let's finish the suit. And if nothing happens, we go take the base out. Uh, train up the train up the rookies. Oh, and there's three more. Okay, cool. Got a base. Uh, okay. So let's rename more people. Oh, we have a lot of people now to go through. Uh, da -da -da, Radical Denny. So we had three more, right? So Maja or Maha is going to be... Um, actually, I haven't prepared this, but from what I can remember... Um, let's say... Who? Okay, this is off the top of my head. I need to make a new list of the uh, resurrections. But, oh, I know who. Perna has been dead for a long time. Perna. There you go, that's Perna. Uh, Triple has been dead for a long time. Okay, that's Triple And the last one could be... Uh, oh yeah, I know. He's actually not dead, so he should be in. Uh, which is uh, Dominic Steel. Dominic Steel. Junior, who has been the tank operator all this time, but uh, his tank is gone, so he's going to be a soldier now, or rather, he's going to be a she now. Okay. Um, with zero combat experience. Not true. Well, technically, she hasn't been fighting herself, but, uh, she's, you know, she's been around some fights in a form of a tank. Okay. So now that we have that, we actually... Uh, need to assign this. Oh, wait, we don't. We can. We don't have to. We actually need to wait for the next suit. Then we can assign suit, please. Someday, any day, all day, every day. Wow. I don't like to take this suit. One hour. Okay, cool. There you go. Okay. So we have two suits. I still feel like we should have um, some people who are. Assaults. I kind of. It does work. So. We should probably get like two. Oh, wait. So how many shields do we have? We should need one more shield as well. Though they are kind of getting discontinued in somewhat. So, Mr. Reynolds is the best shield we have now. And he is only a sergeant, which is. is, is not that good, actually. Okay. Anyhow. People with highest to use. 52. 60. Dashenberger. Okay. 39. 52, 51, 60, 61. Wait, who has 61? Dominic still actually has 61. Okay, well, he's going to be a uh, uh, an assault. Cool. And let's actually do that immediately so we don't forget. Dominic Steel is going to wear the Sentinel armor. Uh, and he's going to be... Actually, he's just going to cancel the armor anyway, but whatever. Uh, Sentinel armor... Unfortunately, we don't have the mag weapon for assaults, so he will have to use the plasma for now. And doesn't really need to carry more of that. So after that, he is going to carry that and a whole bunch of grenades. Okay, there you go. So he's in there. Uh, we need probably second assault. And let's see, someone had 60, I remember. Was it Scrooby? No. It was Dashenberger. All right. Okay, you're going to be another assault. Change roll to assault. Get in the ship. And Whiskey going to give you also. 
the se the sexy new armor. Wait, no, this is Dominic Steel. There you go. There you are. Get rid of that, please. Excellent. Uh, Sentinel armor. You are going to get your, unfortunately, plasma assault rifle. Your equipment's going to be usual stuff. Yeah, like that, something like that. Oh, wait, I also wanted to have, actually, for you to have this. So we'll probably have to get rid of a couple of grenades. Something like that, maybe, for to begin with. You're not very strong, so that's why, you know, that happened. And uh, we need another shield. So for the shield, we need a lot of strength. Uh, 46, 45... 45, 58, very good. Anyone bigger than 58? 62, Jesus. Scrooby, all right, well, you're gonna be the shield. Uh, change roll to shield. Welcome aboard. Okay. Maybe I should actually make four Iron Man, because Iron Man are basically dealing the most uh, damage and doing the most killing there. Um, when, we, when we have time to make him, probably. So. That was Scrooby. There he is. Uh, unfortunately, Wolf Farmer for you for now. Uh, and you need this, and you need this, and hopefully you have more. Uh, sorry. There you go. Start you off with that. That's okay. You'll, you'll, you'll run around like that for a bit. You're going to be just used for scouting in the beginning anyway. And we need to give this guy's new thing to build, and I think we have now... Oh no, we don't even have the hangar yet, so we could build some weapons in, while we're while we're busy with building the hangar. So four days for the hangar to be built. We could actually make more armor. So let's make uh, more Sentinel battle suits. So, which is the 60,000 one. So commence projects, and uh, we can do... Yeah, we can do two more, I think. Should be okay. All right, and uh, I'll probably break this episode up into two parts, but I guess we'll go to the base this uh, in this episode, since we want to just kind of start getting people more experience. We have a lot of privates this time around. So let's go for the base. Since we don't see any aliens, uh, I think it should be okay. Three days and, oops, and you have six days on that, okay. Oh, that's right. I should have probably have not started two. Can I actually change this to one and make another ship? Uh, no, we, we're going to need it anyway. It's fine. All right. There's our base assault. Engage. Let's see who we are dealing with here. Could be... Uh, they will still reduce whatever. Gun. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Still don't remember if they can fly or not, but whatever. Okay. So we have Shadeless Fist. Let's say we goes over here. Uh, we have, we need another shieldy dude here, Scooby. We need a shieldy dude. No, Scooby, you're doing fine. Uh, make sure that your shield is in your right hand. And we have, gonna have an assault guy, just open the door. We're gonna have an assault guy over here. We are gonna have our mag dude over here. You're gonna be facing this way, please. And Faberdain is going to work with them, uh, and you're going to be here, and uh, Tantac. Actually, I think you you four would be fine. How many people? No, let's, let's just do five and five. I think it's okay, because they're going to have the sniper. We need to uh, make the, uh, the mag sniper at some point as well. Okay, I'm not sure why you have these things, because I think we arrived at daytime, but maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. Anyway. Let's go, go, go. This is exactly the same base. Oh, that's exciting, isn't it? All right, Dentech, you do it. Well, I don't see anybody. Let's be daring. Okay. So we're else going to be in here. Well, we do need to test out your armor at some point, so... Uh... Might as well just put you down there. You guys can come up to the thing. You can close the door. Okay. Now this is going to be a bit more difficult, obviously. 
but you're a new guy. Okay, so we are dealing with teleportation and all kinds of bullshit. Okay. So, uh, Shade Steel is 60. I think he's going to have enough to do what he wants to do here. So, go, go, go. Okay, cool. Good, good shot. Uh, get out. See if we can see anyone else in there. No, okay. You can come up here. You can be facing down that way. Wait, why are you... Are you meant to be a Rocketeer? Oh yeah, you're meant to be a Rocketeer, and then you picked up the shield because we lost the shield. Isn't it? I think that was the case. Okay, and you're going to be facing down that way. That's the turn. It's going to be teleportation... Disconcerting teleportation sounds. There we go. Oh, excuses for um, disconcerting drinking, water drinking sounds. That was not very nice of me. Okay. Let's go, go, go. Aliens are here. Aliens want to kill us. I could technically go up all the way there and or all the way here and see that's not it's not a great place. It's just, there's so much crap in the way. So much crap in the way. Okay, why don't we do it differently? You go up here. Can you throw this still? Oh yeah, that's good. It happens every time. Okay. Come back. Let's do it slowly. A bit annoying that it's exactly the same map as last time. At least they're different aliens, I you know, yes, but at the same time, still a bit annoying. Hope they don't take control of one of the all the big guys, that's going to be very, very annoying. Uh-oh. Uh nice job, shield. Oh, we could just switch to the batons at this point, I think, and... Uh, just, just just knock these guys down. Though not with this shield, I think it would not really work out. How much damage did it take? Half of it? Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, we could start using you to get you some experience at this point as well. So why don't we bring you up here, even up here, really. And then you can crouch. And then you can say, ouch. Boom. Cool stuff. Shield protects. And I am mortally wary of grenades, so I don't, I'm not sure I want to go in there. You know what would work great over here, I think, is a uh, well-placed explosive round. So maybe we should actually put you through here, open the door for you. I don't think you're going to be as useful over here, because there's too much people... Well, here is a completely different scenario. Alright. Still can't see anything. I'll wait. I shall wait. It hasn't happened yet, but I think there's going to be a point, you know, if, if this game keeps on going, that one of those teleportation guys is going to teleport behind me. Oh, wow. That was some confusion there. So we killed two 
Again, I always fail to notice how many we need to kill, but I guess we have to kill like 14 more at least. Always fun. Uh, okay. Do you want? Do you feel like finding this dude now? I don't see anyone there. Okay. We're gonna push up then, I guess. That's probably a bad idea. Oh, well. Okay. We did that. Now. If you go in there and open the door, you technically will have a chance to close it again. So, let's give it a go. Privates are made to die. Oh, right. So, in this case, obviously, this is not a... Um, yeah, last time this was a crystal layer. Now it's some sort of teleportation bullshit layer. Close the door, please. Crouch. I guess we can do this now. And you can technically be over here. Dangerous. Moderately dangerous. But it's not too dangerous. Okay. And we can put the sniper then. We should be more careful with the sniper, but at the same time, I think he has very low time units. He would benefit from exercise at this point as well. Okay. Um, we good. I think we, we can even put one of the guys here. Just so that we're ready. I'll just occupy this room. It's going to be alright. I, I have I have faith in our soldiers. Uh oh. Oh, okay. It's right there. Faith in our soldiers. Okay. Come on, alien base. We can do this. Base of the base of the base. Oh, what's this then? Aha! We have found him. Now, heading him is going to be a difficult thing to accomplish. If I come here, I could, I guess, avoid a lot of other st stuff I could potentially be hitting on the way. Let's do that. Okay. And crouch there, I guess, and shoot this guy. Yeah, I just need to hit him once. They're pretty fragile. Um, Alright, shield, take a look. Okay, it doesn't seem very occupied. Fair enough. We'll stay there. Come on, new armor. We can do this. We can do this together. As a team. And you, the heavy hitters, are going to come back here. Like so. And we do need you to take this thing out at some point, but... Hmm. I guess we'll just bring you up here for now and crouch you behind this thing. Yeah, I'm not sure. He can just be here. Doesn't matter, really. All right, there we go. That's good. Now, you guys, please open the door. Step inside. If you would kindly just step inside my office... I have a... Were they teleporting into here? I don't even remember. Hmm. <sighs> Risky, I know. I know. 
know. I know, with this unexplored as well, but we'll figure it out. And the sniper is the only one, but I think the sniper is better served, or he serves us better by just watching down this corridor as opposed to doing anything else. So let's go, go, go. Come on, aliens. There's like tons of you. Why are you They're holed up together? I'd, I'd rather deal with them one by one, obviously, than finding a room full of like five aliens sitting in a room and looking at me. That would be somewhat upsetting. Okay, I, I got it. Your, your, your turn's over. Yep, thank you. All right. Shield. Look down that corridor, please. Okay, nothing there. Uh, we're going to use your special abilities to open up this, this little thing here, like we did last time. Cool stuff. Okay. Uh, you probably should be just kind of nearby, and if anything bad comes that way, you can shoot it. Something like that. And Hamus can be up here, and you can be probably with Hamus at this point, because you guys can go in there and breach that build, not building, but whatever, that room. Okay, cool. Happy with that. And you dudes need to uh, figure out what's going on on here. On, on this side here. Is there anyone there? Hello? Anybody home? Doesn't seem like anyone's home. Okay, well, we'll take it. We could take it slow. It's good. There we go. And obviously the sniper stays. Actually, the sniper could at this point already move be up, uh, be up here, just to f have the full view of the corridor. And no one's covering his back, obviously, but it's just something we'd have to live with. Okay, I'll put you up here. There's no point in you being down there. And yeah, you'll be like right there. Okay, cool. Very shy aliens today. I I believe the Ooh. What? Are they just shooting something or while teleporting? Should be against the rules, really. They love their doors. I think this is the door sound is mostly the uh commander commanding room or whatever the room, you know, where the commander officer is. Uh, just being opened and closed because they, they they sort of patrol it. They just go in and out of it Okay So if you don't mind Like really And there is a dude there All right, Hamus, what's your chance on this guy? Really? That's it. It still should be fine. Uh, I shoot him for 52, get out and shoot him again with Everlyn, so it's all good. Uh, go, go, go. Yep, he died it. Okay, how about you, buddy? Just take a peek. Okay, we have a dude here. Uh, I don't feel like killing him today. I don't think he's gonna come all the way here, but um, better safe than sorry, I guess. Let's push up with the shield. Maybe even further. You, we can have you here supporting the shield. You're probably out of action for now. And. Let's again. Ah, that's not a very good push with the shield, is it? I can put the shield over here, just take a look at this area. Okay. And we can, mm, technically, we could just come up here and take a look over there. Even one more. Okay, we don't see anything 
horrible. So that's good. I'd even be ballsy enough to be up here. Okay, cool. Uh, you can't move really. You're gonna stay there too. So, in fact, I think since we've seen no movement here, actually no. We wait one more turn because there could be still someone lurking here because we only now gained the visual on the door. Oh shit! Oh shit! There's two of them. But they can't move off to the teleport, which is good. So we can kill two in one go. Uh-oh, now that's bad. That is not good. I hope he survived that. Yes, he did. Okay, cool. Okay. We don't feel like throwing any grenades in this closed space. Um... What we can do, what we will do. Can I even come up here to this guy? No, I can't really do that. We can come up here. What's your aim on this dude, anyway? It's one, two, and there's another one here, right? Okay. So if I just come up to this guy shoot him twice? I can't shoot him twice. I can sh come up here. Still won't be able to crouch. Can come up here, crouch, and then... So that's going to be 42. Yeah, and then shoot him twice with the thing. Okay, cool. Let's do that. Crouch. 78. Survive that. Didn't survive that. Okay. Get up here then. Crouch, kill. All right, now we should be able to just at least take a peek. This is a basically dash scouting here. That's okay. Okay. And the shield will have to take a hit if there is a hit coming. Like so. Okay. That's alright. Now, it's a guy there. Um, but we also have a shield on this side. So we can figure out if there is anything horrible happening there. Okay. There's nothing bad there. Uh, let's get in there. Oh, hey, you little guy. I'm pretty sure I can kill you from... from here. Sorry about that. I think he was the psionic one, wasn't he? Because he was purple? And we're pretty close to that commanding room, so which is going to open up the view of the, um, of the area for us as well. Uh, let's put you up here. Okay. You can then come here. You can be on the corner in case someone rushes down there. So you don't have to be crouching. And you can just be behind him. Alright, that's cool. I think we can actually finish this in one go. I mean, it's going to be a slightly longer episode as always, but... Well, as, as, you know, the ones we already done before, the longer ones. Um, so far, so good. There's an encouraging turn there. Three aliens down. They did a really stupid teleportation there, so... Yeah, it didn't really work, work out well there. Demon face. Okay. Hmm. Let's... Do this first, I think. Okay, I see no evil there. Cool stuff. Is that a door? I'm not even sure. No, it's not a door. This is an enclosed space. Okay. You can slightly expose, but you're going to be alright. You 
come up here and just wait if, in case someone shows up, basically. Okay, so that team has moved. You are crouching, right? You are, okay. Now let's check out this area. Oh, hello. That's always fun, isn't it? How much would you need to get here? You would have enough. Uh, let's take a hit, if there is a hit to take. Yes, there is. Cool stuff. But there's two of them. That's a problem. But Hamus is here. Oh shit, Hamus can't actually go there. Oh yeah, there's a dark one over there. Shit, shit, shit. Let's see if we can do that at all. So Hamus would need... Oh, he's gonna be so exposed. That's fine, we'll just car him with the shield. But we'll have to kill that guy somehow. What about Feverdine? Can you... Feverdine's too far away. This is a bit risky. We could, we could have quite good gains from that situation. Alright, why don't we... actually try to do this properly first. Let's let's get you here. So when you crouch and you can do 30... Oh shit, you can't do that. Shit. Okay. Crouch anyway. 88, come on, you can do it. Excellent. Alright, Hamus. You messed this up, I swear to god you fired. Okay, cool. Now what's the where's the danger is gonna be coming from? There or there? I think this is the best. This is the what we need to be protecting here. Okay, cool. Now can you be a target for us? Not without being super dead at the same time. I'll just take a look what's going on there. Anything we need to be worried about. Alright, Dentec, you're going to be taking a hit for uh, for Hamus. You're going to become the target. I'm going to bring you up over there as well. And you're just going to be sort of hiding here. Alright, that's good. That was a good turn as well. Two more aliens dead. I'm pretty sure the control room was somewhere here. As soon as we take that, uh, then we have... Uh, reveal the map. I, don't th I think we can even hold that room or something and five turns aliens lose just kind of like with the human base. All right. Oh no, this is the teleportation room. That's what it is. Anyone here? Nope. Okay. You definitely need to reload. And you need to open the door for us here. So go in, whatever, it's cool. Okay, go in there. Can't remember where the control, I think the control room is over that side. Anyway, let's just leave him for now. Let's quickly do this. Oh wow, you actually can't do this. Oh well. Oh, he was already crouched, okay. Oh, aliens. It's too far away. Gotta hide. Or, or not, wait, 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 wait. How about you? Uh oh. He's going to sort of survive that, but this is pretty bad. Oh boy, is it bad. Losing him here is the shittiest thing that could happen. Shit. Should have waited for the shield to clear it. Or 
Alright, now we have to play the waiting game. Damn. He only took 42 damage out of 41 health, so I think he's going to be okay. And actually not die. Okay, so Arcana Forbidden is standing there. Hamus needs to probably like get inside somewhere. And Faverdine has no business of standing there either, so let's put him in there as well. Kids, you should always wait for your shield to clear the not clear the room, but really eat the Overwatch, is what I mean. Cool, alright. Uh-oh. He's upset. I bet we could just take the door down and because she's just standing right there behind the door. Hmm. It's a slightly dangerous situation. Let's give him a target. If he does open the door and come step through. Now, we need to... What's the likelihood of actually... Mm, that's not going to work. Kill the door. And he's also suppressed. Let's do it this way. How's it going, buddy? Nice knowing you. Sorry about the mess. We'll fix it later. Okay, you come over here. Crouch. We're gonna be clearing this. Or oh, trying to clear it. Okay. Now the dire situation this room oh, we got two dudes what we can do is we can start sort of firing at them with our sniper I guess and because they don't regenerate or anything like that so but they seem to be holed up in there okay so we, we start doing that next turn now we probably just step back yeah, I know they're there. You're crouched, right? Okay, cool. Cool stuffs. As long as they don't put a grenade on that guy, then he's gonna be fine. Okay. They repositioned. Uh, 52, 36, get out, I think is the... Oh, he can't do that. Thirty-six. He can still get out of the thirty-six, I think. So forty-eight. Shoot it. Good shot. And you can even be crouched there. So and we get out. Bye bye. A bit of shit tactic, but I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do to survive. Right? Can you please? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Who told you to? Oh, whatever. <sighs> Nice shot. What the hell is that command room? I think we're gonna be clearing this one anyway, so... Might as well just stack up on the door. You're overwatching there, all good. And I think we can call this a turn. So two aliens there. I, I'm guessing there's what, like three more in the control room, two there. I think that's it. Maybe one more here. So there's no point splitting up this video. Let's have a huge freaking video. Huge one. All right. Let's see how, how many turns it's going to take you to hit this. Quite a lot, apparently. No rush. 28. Can you still move? Yeah, you can. That's a bit 
Whatever. Whatever, guy. Right. Spotter. Gunner. What? How much health did this guy have? See you later, guy. I said see you later. And they're just gonna be just camping in that room. It's gonna take some time without the plasma caster. Can't really pick it up though. All right, can we wait? Can we pick it up? No, we can't pick it up. Except they're just gonna have reduced whatever. But but you know, by the time I get there, I'm probably gonna get shot anyway. So what's the point? Ooh, you reposition. That's pretty cool. That's definitely gonna work. All right, one done. See you later. All right, you guys. Sorry, you guys. Now, can we please, sir? Thank you. Get out. Okay, there's no one here. Check out the other room. Usually there's no one here anyway. Oh, this is where we are, of course. Oh, I can actually flank him now. <laughs> uh, might as well do it. It'd be really hilarious. Okay. Uh, not you, but the other shield. There you are. Reynolds. Go, go, go. I think that's the command room. I think. I right, send you down this corridor. And we're going to do dash scouting. With the rocketeer. It's probably a bad idea. Don't do that at home, kids. It's not worth it. All right. Do the aliens do anything daring? I doubt it. Ooh, that is somewhat daring. Wonder if that worked. We'll find out if Rihanna's a, a worthwhile troop. Nope, didn't work. Did it reduce your shit? Didn't even reduce your shit. Oh, you're very brave. Okay. Wait, there's two of them? Hmm. Oh, there's a door. Come on. Ah, oh, shit, that's not what I meant. I can't even shoot this guy, can I? I can only shoot that one, probably. Okay. Three bullets left. Step out. Oh, I can't even shoot him anymore. Oh, there's no point then. Get back. Get back. Ooh, what? Three? Two? What's this? Oh, this is a guy over in a different, completely different place. Okay. Alright, step back. Oh, this is getting a bit hardcore. Okay. All right, it's kind of worried about Hamus now. Um, shouldn't be really. He knows what he's doing. Oh fucking! I, I just, oh. Really? <laughs> wow, that's bad. Oh, Reynolds. <laughs> That's pretty horrible. Oh, and you have no more ammo left. 
At least you can reload now. Damn. That is not very good. So where does this go even? I forgot what's in here. Oh, I'm scared. I don't want to go there. Does anyone need to move? You move, can move, but... I'd stay, I'd stay there. Unless he comes all the way here, he can't really hit you. Oh, this is gonna be a dis- <laughs> What the fuck? Dantec just died. <sighs> Please don't control him. That would be, you know, too much work for you. Alright. That, now, Dantec could actually be dead. Um... So, uh, 78? Thank you. Don't, didn't really see how much damage it did, but I think it did a lot. Anyway. Uh, over here, though, we have other problems. Where is this guy? He's behind a thing now. Where's his friend? That's what I'm worried about. Oh man, I don't like this. 52, I can get out technically. Also could be hitting this guy. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> get out, buddy. Oh man. Amos is in grave fucking danger right now. Okay. Let's put other lives at risk so that maybe possibly Amos can live. Actually, probably better idea is to just have this guy over here just facing that way. Okay. Even though he only has 75 left of a shield. Ugh. It's not very good. Okay, we dealt with that situation, at least. Uh, is there anyone already standing there? No, so that's the control room. Pretty sure if I stand here, they can't actually see me. And so we had f five here, one went to help, and another one sort of died. Okay. Gotcha. Anything else? No. Alright, go. Oh, shit. So he's over there. Okay, we can catch him with our assault then. Or we can take a look with Hamus and see if we can see him. Alright, so go back here. Hmm, don't actually see him. Okay. All right, he's right there. So I will just go over here. And crouch. And that should do it. Okay. Okay. I am also pretty sure someone came out of that door. Yep, and that's the the commander dude. Okay, how much you got left in your shield? 140, so technically... Technically... We could take him. Uh, you could just come here at 51. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool. Forty-seven, so I could do forty-seven and eighteen. So twenty-five and eighteen is thirty-five, uh, forty-three, forty-six. Yeah, I can do two. Okay, so crouch. Do a big one. Oh, oh, come on! What? Through the shield as well. 
That's such a dick. Well, too bad. Man. Dominic. Dominic still junior. Died on the first mission. Such a sad life. Okay. Anyone else needs to do anything? I think we're good. We moved these guys this turn, right? Yeah. Okay. Can you move? Let's be facing this way, maybe. In fact, if there is danger coming, it's probably coming down here. And we'll just move up the sniper. Alright, so Dominic... Dominic is definitely dead. Who's this? Alright. And... And there's one alien left or something like that. Yeah, it's right there. End of mission? No? Okay. Should probably reload. In fact, let's come back. Do that. Okay. Check it out. Go, go, go. Okay. Can you see anyone from there? <laughs> Just walk through it. Ah, reload. So that, this armor didn't really stop anything either. They're just dying like flies anyway. Somewhat sad situation. So we lost three, but I think two of them are coming back. I think two of them are coming back, hopefully. Okay, come on, go open it. Okay, there's a dude there. Oh, and there's a ginormous dude over here. Okay, so good thing we noticed that one. Uh, I would probably come over here. Well, we need to, like, most definitely kill him, so. 50. I won't be able to move off to that. Oh, man, I hope it's enough. Okay, go down there. What's up, dick face? Yeah, welcome to Earth. Okay. Oh, that's gonna be... That's gonna be close. Okay. Actually, you're the shield. You stand there. And you're the assault. You stand here. And you're the Rocketeer, so you're stuck over there. That's, that makes sense, right? Uh oh. What is he doing? Kill Faberdin, I swear to God. Make an example out of you. Alright, he didn't kill Faberdin. He just stands there. Okay, is there anyone else in this godforsaken room? There isn't. So he had enough to, I guess, shoot at me, maybe? I don't know. Let's just come up to this. Uh oh, no. Oh, fuck me. Come on. How much did Faberlin have? <sighs> Fuckers. Alright, what's in here? A bunch of nothing. Okay, so this is going over here. Dash Scout, I don't care. Zero fucks given, come on. Where does that even go? Like this. Whatever. Go back to your teleportation.
Can you put this in your hand, please? Thank you. Okay. Okay. Anyone else wants to move? Better speak now. Okay, sniper. Fucking aliens. What's what's even what's even there? Like what could possibly even be there? Oh, the core, of course. Anyone here? Nope. Okay. Now, nah, where's the alien? together. There's the alien. How far can you get to the alien? You can get to like 54 and I shoot him in the face. Okay, cool. Can you get here? Okay, eat the overwatch. Yep, that's right, alien. Eat the overwatch. Hey, buddy. How's things? So who died? Oh, if everything died, are you kidding me? He just had like 50 HP and... <sighs> Unfair, man. Unfair. And the one who survived is... Yeah, okay. At least one Iron Man survived. Oh, if everything. Such a shame. So sad. But what about Dentech? Dentex survived as well. Okay, so we had actually one, two, three, four people gunned down. And two of them survived. I was hoping that three of them would survive. I mean, I knew that Dominic still was not going to make it. And he made Corporal as well. And then he... This is something. I think it's a bug. I don't really understand how that works. But... Feverding, it's just a shame. Aliens. Aliens. See, it was daytime, but it was dark in the base. Someone explain that, please. Ah, bugs, man. Bugs and aliens, they kill you. Okay. Well, we did it. We made a two hour episode. Always fun, you know, these two hour episodes, I like them. Uh, three, three, and you have one, six. We're not researching anything because we ain't got nothing. Uh, we are not building anything there, but we are building uh, more armor here, which didn't really protect us. I guess it's how better, it, how much better is it actually? Because it didn't really seem that much better. Okay, so if we compare, say, wolf battle armor is 45, 45, 45, single battle suit is 6, 6, 60, plus you don't burn in the fire or whatever. Okay. And you can fly. And this is 70, 70, 70. Yeah, it's pretty close, actually. Except that I think this is, isn't a power... Uh, sorry, this one isn't a power armor. Or not, you can't carry, like, a lot more or something like that. Anyway, anyway, took out the base. Two people died, as opposed to three last time. So I guess it is an improvement, though a lot of them are wounded, which gives a chance for more rookies to experience a field of battle. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did so, please consider supporting this video in any way you can. And I'll see you the next time. Bye.